Today I'm feeling a shoulder stretch. So some contra 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 indications. Contra indications is what it's called. When you are when we're gonna do these postures, do not do them if you have any shoulder injuries or anything in the rotator cuff. Um, also, if you have wrist injuries, just really be mindful about the movements in your body and yeah that's pretty much it let's get started so we're gonna start the very front of our mat comfortable seated position whichever way you like just make sure that you're not crunching down you are nice and tall that spine is nice and long place those hands down on the knees close those eyes and let's Put focus on the breath today. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep breathing there and when you're breathing, try to inhale and have that belly expand with air and exhale and have the belly collapse to take out the air. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, deeper exhale, and now let's breathe only through our nose, making that Ujjayi breath, imagining that you're fogging a mirror but with your mouth closed. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, keep that breath going, that's going to be what's going to guide you into this practice, your breath, make sure that you can hear it, inhale, exhale, Now for today's class, remember, set an intention, something that you want to send some good vibes to, some good, you know, positive energy to. It could be something else. It could be yourself, whatever it is that you feel that you need or want to share. Take that time now to think about it as you take those nice deep breaths. Maybe it could be the first thing that came to your mind when I told you to set an intention. And when you flow today, think about that intention. Maybe put in a little extra effort just for that intention. One more breath and exhale. Gently blink open those eyes and let's come into tabletop position. Starting to move that body. Remember, hands underneath the shoulders and knees hip width distance, two fists in between the knees. And let's do this. Inhale, arch the spine, look up for cow. Exhale, chin towards the chest, arch the spine the opposite way for cat. When you move through each transition, do it very slowly. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. 
exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to a neutral spine. Let's do that dancing lion. So simply just make some big circles with those hips. Moving in one direction and the opposite direction. Just go at your own pace. Maybe try to do three big circles towards the right and then another three big towards the left. Remember to breathe. Join me back at tabletop, neutral spine, and let's take our hands all the way forward, keep those hips where they are, and try to just sink down as much as you can. This is a pretty already intense shoulder stretch, so maybe this is where you are. Normally, you would grab yourself a block or a book. I'm gonna get some more books. Wait. some more books not enough <laughs> you can just grab some books there blocks really just trying to sink down those shoulders however much you can really just listening to your body here remember that breath inhale exhale inhale Exhale. One more inhale. Deeper exhale. Come out of that very slowly. Maybe move your knees towards your hands to get out of that. And now back into that tabletop position. Tuck the back toes and hover those knees off the mat. And when you're doing this, you're pushing the ground away, kind of curving your back like as if you were in cat, cat pose. Really feeling it there in the abs. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale, downward dog. Try to take those knees in towards your chest. And then move those feet a little bit more back. And then here, if your hamstrings are uh, tight, you can just bend both of those knees. And really just try to get that chest in towards your thighs. And let's walk the dog, bend one knee and the other, trying to reach the heels towards the ground, towards your mat. Remember, deep breath. We move a little bit more forward. Ooh. When you're in your downward dog, make sure that your fingers are spread wide. Your palms are flat down on the ground. One more deep breath here, inhale, and exhale. Looking straight ahead, bend those knees, walk towards the front of the mat, and just let yourself hang here. Make sure that your legs are hip width distance, so place two, two fists in between the feet. And just let yourself hang here. This is literally my favorite pose. Bend those knees, lean on the toes, grab opposite elbows, 
And just breathe here, letting gravity pull and push you down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, let go of those hands, tuck the chin towards the chest, roll yourself up very slowly. Imagining still that the, that the gravity is pushing and pulling you down so you can really feel that on your shoulders as you come up. Nice and slowly drop those shoulders down and back. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Here in Mountain Pose. Maybe lift all 10 toes, feel yourself grounded against your mat. Make sure you're leaning on nothing, you're just Rounded with all four corners of your foot. Nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Deeper exhale. Drop the chin down towards the chest and roll your head over towards the right side. And we're gonna make some big circles here. I mean, however big they can be, you're doing circles with your head. Really just maybe do some uh, three circles towards the right. This is my second one. Really just feeling that neck and make sure that the shoulders stay down. My last one towards the right. Now let's go in the opposite direction. As you come up, you inhale. And as you go down, you exhale. One more. Beautiful, just do whatever movement feels good here now. Freestyle yoga, woo! -hoo. Hmm, beautiful. Now let's take that head back towards the center, chin parallel towards the ground. Beautiful here, mountain pose. Close those eyes, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, those hands up towards the sky. And exhale, swan dive all the way down. Fold forward here, stay there. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine, place the hands on the shins. And just lengthen the spine as if you were in a, uh, like you're flat. Imagine that you're going to put a cup or something on your back and it can't tip over. So you want to have that spine nice and flat and those shoulders back. Looking down towards the ground, leaning on those toes. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale one more time and lengthen. Exhale, step those feet back, hands down for plank pose, pushing the ground away. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin down on the mat. Uncurl the back toes, hips down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, just move here in your downward dog, whichever way you like. There is no wrong movement unless you
you to hurt yourself, just don't do anything crazy, I guess. <laughs> All right. The goal here for your downward dog is to try to take the chest in towards those thighs. Maybe you have to bend both of those knees. You want your spine to be nice and long. Maybe shake your head no here. Shake your head yes. Move those hips from side to side. One last deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, bend those knees, look forward, tippy toe towards the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the hands up overhead, reaching high. And exhale, go all the way down, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Gently place the hands down on the mat. Step back for that plank pose. Hold it there. Push the ground away. Imagine that those shoulder blades are coming apart from each other. Really just pushing away here. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin down on the mat. Uncurl the back toe, pick the hips down, inhale, cobra, and exhale, lower back down. We're going to stay down here on our mat. Going to just warm up that back. Take the forehead down on the mat, and inhale, just that upper body using no arm strength at all. So. You want to really use your back here and let's do that inhale here we're in cobra pose and probably one of the most important things here is those toes that you can't see on my video you want to push down those toes and my toes are untucked so that means that they're like this so i'm pushing down my toes Beautiful, inhale, exhale, lower down. Maybe shake the hips, whatever feels good. Let's do that one more time, inhale. Really pushing those toes down, only using your spine here. And exhale, lower down. Now we're gonna tuck the back toes and you're gonna push the ground away, come into your downward facing dog. Hmm. Beautiful here, inhale, exhale. Inhale.
lengthen the legs this time, however much you can. Eventually, you know, eventually we'll get there. Breathing here. Coming back to that intention. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure to let your head hang as well. Shake your head no, shake it yes. Deep inhale, deeper exhale. Gently let go of those hands, tuck the chin towards the chest, roll yourself up and imagine those arms that gravity is pulling and pushing you down so it's really hard to come up. And when you do that, you feel it on your upper back, on those shoulders. Coming all the way up, roll those shoulders up and away from you. Palms facing forward, close those eyes here, mountain pose. Maybe lift all 10 toes so you can really feel grounded here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Deeper exhale. Inhale, those hands up towards the sky. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen that spine. Remember those shoulders back. And exhale, fold forward. Gently bend those knees, step back for your plank pose, hold it there, remember push the ground away, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, your hips up, chest in, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, deeper exhale. Gently bend those knees, take them all the way down towards the mat, coming back into your tabletop position. We're gonna do, we're gonna do thread the needle pose, so cup the right hand in the middle of the mat. Inhale, the left hand up, and exhale, thread that hand through and take the shoulder, left shoulder down, left side of the head down. The right elbow is pointing up. And here you're in a nice yummy twist. Inhale. Exhale. You have the option to take the right hand and wrap it around your back and see if you can grab your left thigh for a more intense stretch. Otherwise, you can just stay where you were. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Deeper exhale. Unravel yourself. If you were doing that, gently come out of the pose very slowly. In order to avoid injuries, we want to come out of each pose very slowly. That is the key. And let's do the other side. So cup the left hand in the middle of the mat. Inhale that right hand up. And exhale, thread that hand through. Right shoulder down left elbow up and now you can see me so my right side of the head is down and then you can hold it here inhale exhale you can wrap around that left hand behind your back trying to grab that right thigh for a little more intensity inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more inhale, deeper exhale. Gently, 
gently unravel yourself if you were there. Get out of that pose very slowly. And now take the glutes down towards your heels. Coming into a Japanese sitting position. And let's just do some shoulder rolls. So inhale those shoulders up and backward. Taking circles here with those shoulders. Three, four, five. Really when you're pushing down, you're pushing down so you can feel it right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do the other way. So now we're going to go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now shake it off. Do whatever crazy movement you want. Woo! <laughs> okay, and then let's do this really fun and kind of interesting rotator cuff stretch that one of my teachers showed me. So you're gonna take the uh, upper side of your hand. This is the palm, so I don't know what this is called. If somebody knows, please tell me. So you're gonna take this hand, this part, the, the top part of your hand, place it on your, kind of on your waist area of your back. And, and it's not on the center, but it's kind of like on the outer edge of it. And you're gonna try and grab with the left hand that right uh, elbow. And when you do that, you're already gonna start feeling it where like on the rotator cuff area. So yeah, I mean, that's it. Like I can't go any further. You can try to grab your, your tricep Really just try to pull it a little bit deeper towards yourself. Ooh, I feel that. So wherever you are, let's just hold it there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. All right, let go very slowly. Maybe you wanna, I don't know, just let go very slowly. Ooh, maybe do a big circle with only the right shoulder, opposite direction. Shake it off, whatever, whatever you feel like doing. And let's do the other side. So now left front of the hand on that same kind of section of the back kind of waist area and already try to take the elbow forward try to grab that left uh, tricep this side is a lot more open than the other side for me it's very weird all right i mean that is normal to be honest so if you're experiencing that too welcome to the club of asymmetric body parts <laughs> all right inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, let go very slowly, very slowly, maybe do just one shoulder roll with the left shoulder, shake it off. And now we're gonna come back into tabletop. See, I'm looking at my notes. Let's go ahead and do that puppy pose that we did in the beginning. Let's do it again. And notice now maybe you can go a little deeper. So I'm not gonna use the books this time. I'm just gonna lean. So remember, those hips, those uh, knees hip width distance. So place two fists in between the knees. 
and the hips stay where they are. You're just gonna lean your hands all the way forward, trying to collapse the chest down towards the mat as much as you can. Maybe you can just bend those elbows and do it like this, or you can really just try to take the chest down as much as you can. And when you're doing this, do not bounce wherever you are, just stay there. Let's hold it, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, slowly, slowly walk those knees towards your hands so that you can gently come out of that pose, that intense shoulder stretch. Let's do some more of those shoulder rolls, whichever direction you like. Shake those arms. Woo. And now let's do yet another intense shoulder opener, which I love. You're gonna come all the way down towards the mat on your, the toes are untucked and you're gonna extend the left hand like a T all the way towards the left side, as you can see, and then flip the palm over. So my palm is like this, take off my watch. And with the right hand, you're going to push your body up and over. And then the right foot, can you see it? Your right foot is gonna come behind you. Ooh. And this is kind of like a, it's like kind of like a twist and a shoulder opener at the same time. Let me see, I'm gonna come in a little bit more so you can see where my leg is. So the trick here is to make sure that this arm does not move around. You wanna keep it straight like a T. And then just go ahead, make sure you push yourself up and over. I don't know if you can see that, but I hope you can. My right leg is bent and down towards the other side. Left leg is strong, the toes are pointing towards myself. And you can either stay here, or you can try and take the right hand, wrap it around your back, and maybe, just maybe, the right hand touches the left hand and that is not really the point of this pose if the right hand is touching the left hand and the left arm is not straight like a t then it doesn't count it doesn't count so if you're right here then you're right there and just stay there deep breath inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, very slowly come out of that pose, same way that you got in it, Ooh. make some head circles here, whatever feels good, shoulder circles. This looks kind of funny. Okay, let's do the other side. So right hand completely extended towards the right. Flip the palm over, you can see it here now. And with that left hand, you're gonna push your body up and over, and then the left foot is gonna bend and come behind, and the right foot is nice and strong. And then you can either stay like this, really already, you are already feeling it right here, or you can Make it even more intense. Try to grab the left, the right hand with the left hand. And maybe this is where you are, and that's it. The point is not to grab it. The point is to feel that nice shoulder stretch. So we can stay here, and let's hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Deeper, exhale. 
actually let's do one more breath inhale and exhale all right gently very slowly come out of that pose take the hands back shake those hips make some circles with the head make some circles with the shoulders whatever feels good for you here now take we're gonna push yourself up and the knees are still down we're just gonna come into a uh what's it called child's pose <laughs> so knees as wide as the mat big toes touching hands all the way forward and then just stay here. Let me put on my watch so we can time our child's pose. So you can just breathe there in your child's pose. Think about that intention. And today's child's pose is going to be a little bit different. So if your hands are all the way forward, we're going to take our hands back and grab our heels. And just relax your forehead down against the mat or against some books if you can't reach and just relax those shoulders there we're gonna hold it for one whole minute here in our child's pose remember to hear your own breath think about that intention You can shake your head no to massage that forehead. Last deep breath here, inhale, and exhale. Gently come out of your child's pose, very slowly. My forehead kind of hurts from the books. So maybe it's not a good idea to use the books as your uh, block for your head because that kind of hurt for a minute. <laughs> okay, so let's come back into that tabletop position. And let's finish off with some more cat cows. Really, we just want to get that body moving. So inhale, arch the spine, looking up for cow. So here, really try to take those shoulders away, pushing up, inhale. Exhale for cat. Pushing the ground away here, the opposite direction, shoulders away. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Beautiful, beautiful. And now coming back into a regular seating position whichever one you like you can be in Japanese seating position or Indian style I'm gonna be like this so for now we're just going to maybe stretch our neck a little bit so take the right hand down take the left hand on the right ear and just take the left ear towards the left shoulder, feeling that nice stretch on the right side of the neck and relax both shoulders. Maybe that right hand walks a little bit further away so you can feel it a little more. 
Nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Deeper exhale. Gently let go, come back to neutral, left hand down, right hand on that left here. And then relax both shoulders. Take the right ear towards the right shoulder. Really just feeling that nice and yummy neck stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Deeper exhale. Maybe walk your hand more towards the left. Really intensifying it even more. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Gently come back to center. Maybe you wanna make some circles with the head some circles with the shoulders, whatever feels good with your body. And we're gonna finish it off with one last super intense shoulder stretch. You're gonna sit down on those glutes if you were not already. Take the legs all the way forward, straighten them out. The legs are nice and strong here. We're in Dandasana pose, staff pose. So you're, you know, kind of look like a letter L that is like sitting on the long side. Okay, so we're here, legs nice and strong, and you're gonna take the hands behind you, fingertips facing back, take those shoulder blades together, and then walk those hands back as much as you can. Taking the hands all the way back as much as you can. And that's it, this is the pose right here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, walk those hands back towards your body very slowly, roll those shoulders again if you need to. Okay, we have one minute, right in the front of our mats, legs cross, hands at heart center, let's take one last deep breath together, inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my practice with you today. The divine light in me honors, cherishes, and respects the divine light in each and every one of you. Namaste. And just before you go, I wanted to read to you just a little reminder. A little reminder. The answer you are looking for may be right before your eyes. Have you asked the question? Have you put it out to God, the universe, yourself, and the world, or whatever you believe in? What do I need to do right now? What do I need to do next? Where and why am I stuck? What am I not seeing? What's the answer? I need a clue. Often, asking the question means the answer is trying to find you. Follow your heart, then open your eyes. You'll see it. The answer may be right in front of you. <laughs>